Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. Um, and today I'm going to go over part two of help desk level one, entry level stuff. Obviously, if you're entry level, you're trying to land a job in IT or help desk. I'm showing people how to make their own lab. So watch part one of this video. I'll leave it below in the description. I'll leave it below towards the end of the video and you can watch it. But um, obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, let's stop support videos. Talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. Okay. So part one, I installed server 2016 and I put it on a virtual box. So now this is part two. Part two, we're going to do Active Directory Domain Services. We're going to install that and I'm going to explain what I'm doing. And, and that's it. That's pretty much it for today. And then as I go along throughout the weeks, we're going to add to it, if that makes sense. But I, I want to make this as simple as possible because I don't want people to get lost and I don't want people to get confused, if that makes sense. If Obviously, if you're brand new, you're going to get confused. So I have to explain everything. So let me share my screen with you and show you what I'm doing. All right. So, all right, so we have we have our, um, remember we, we installed server 2016. So I'm gonna open it up real quick and I'm gonna show you what, what I would do if I was brand new to IT. So literally we installed it already. So literally what we do is gonna, gonna log in as capital P password one, two, three, exclamation point. Once you, once you log in, um, you don't have anything installed right now, right? So, Gonna double check a couple of things. Yep. So, all right. So the first thing I want to do, um, for people that are brand new to IT, um, mind you that we're gonna use this for creating share drives. We're gonna use this to create a bunch of stuff. I don't want to complicate myself. I don't want to have a long name on my computer. So if you go to the C Drive Explorer right over here, um, obviously it's gonna be there already. But obviously if you remove it and it's not there, you just do the, the C dot C dot and do run command. You could open it up that way. So first thing I would do is I would right click on this PC right over here. I'm gonna hit properties and I'm gonna change the computer name. See the computer name is like win-ms5dvrtpc7. Like I'm not gonna memorize all that. That's just that's just crazy. Cause I'm gonna map a drive. I'm gonna do mapping a drive. I'm gonna add a computer to a domain. I'm gonna do a bunch of other things. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna have this long, this long unconventional name. It's gonna drive me nuts. So what you do is you're gonna do change settings, change. And I'm gonna change this to whatever you want to change it to. I'm gonna call it server 2016. I'm a simple man. I like to make things simple. So I'm gonna call it server 2016. Every time you change the name of a computer, whether it's Windows 10 or a server, it's always gonna prompt you to restart. So we're gonna restart right now and hit close. Restart now. So you could change it to whatever you want. You could change it to T1 lab or T12 lab, T5 lab, whatever you want. Me, I call it server 2016 because this is server 2016. I don't get confused. I know what it is. All right. So then what we do is we're going to do control delete. We're going to log in again, capital P, password, one, two, three, exclamation point. And then that's it. And then we're going to go into the computer again, the C drive explorer. We're going to right click on this PC. We're going to hit properties. And now it's called server 2016. Simple as that. See how easy that was? So what I would like, what I do usually for me, I don't know if you guys do this, but this is what I usually do. I go into advanced system settings, I go into performance and I adjust for best performance. So I do that because I want this thing to run super duper fast. I don't want it to lag on me. So that's, when, that's why I leave it in that, that setting, if that makes sense. Um, okay, I'm gonna go take my time with it. So obviously I went to advanced system settings, I hit performance, I hit settings tab and then you know, turned all that off, so. Now that we have that set up, like literally the next thing you wanna do is you wanna create Active Directory domain services. And I'm gonna go over that right now real quick. So basically what you do is you hit the start menu, you hit server manager, you open up server manager. Let me expand this a little more so you guys can see what I'm doing. So just give me a second. There we go, that's better. So I'm gonna open up server manager. Um, I'm gonna hit manage, I'm gonna hit add roles and features. So. Don't worry about any of this. Just hit next. We're going to do role-based features for this one because I want to create a domain controller and I want to add a bunch of stuff to it. So that's what we're going to do for today, okay? We're going to hit next. Um, for now, we're going to leave the server server pool. So this is the IP address. So an IP address is an IP unique to that computer or that server. Obviously, different types of IP addresses, you know. So this big think of it as, as an identification number for something, all right? And then here... We're gonna hit Active Directory Domain Services. We're gonna click on that. And automatically it's gonna add all these other features. So don't worry about that. It has to include all that. Hit Add Feature. You hit Next. 
you hit next and you hit install. Just, just let it do its thing. So it's gonna install, it's gonna take a bit of time. Um, I'm going over this for someone that's brand new to IT. So obviously if you're not new and you're watching this, like, oh, that's too easy. You know, you know, it's not for you. It's for it's for someone that's brand new um, to IT. So you just ignore that message. So for someone that's brand new to IT, this, they may not understand what we're doing. So I have to sit here and explain what I'm doing because they might get lost. You don't know. So Yeah, so yeah, so that's basically it. So what you want to do is now, you want to do promote this server to a domain. You click on that one. So add a domain control to an existing domain. We have no domains whatsoever, so we wouldn't even do this one. Add a domain to an existing forest. We don't have any other domains, so we haven't even done anything yet. So you wouldn't even do that one either. You do the one on the bottom. So for me, it will be kevtech.com. You could do kevtech.org, kevtech.local. You do whatever you want. It has to be .com, .local, .org. Um, obviously, you pick if you're going to do static IP, so basically it's not going to be on the internet, you call it whatever you want. If this is going to be on the internet, then you might have to change the name of it because somebody else might have that name already as a domain. So domain is a DNS or a domain name service like google.com or, or, or youtube.com. All these, all these websites probably have that domain already. You don't know. But for me, I'm doing a static IP and I'm going to go over that in a couple, couple other videos. Um, so for me, I'm just going to call it kevtech.com. That, that website exists, by the way. It's a real website. It doesn't exist, but I'm doing static IP. So when I do static IP, it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, in, in the network or not in the network. It doesn't matter for me. So here you just don't, don't, don't touch any of this. Leave it alone. Um, here you could actually change the functionality to 2012 R2. Um, if you do that, you might break the server. So don't, don't do that. Just leave it alone. Leave it as it is. Um, they want to create a password for this. So let me do password. Capital P, password, one, two, three, exclamation point. Capital P, password, one, two, three, exclamation point. And then here, just leave it alone, hit next. It's going to pick up the BIOS name, Keftech. So whatever name you call it, that's going to be the BIOS name. So it, it could be, I don't know, Sam. You call it Sam.com, it's going to be Sam. I don't know, whatever you call it, basically. It's going to be Keftech. Um, hit next. Again, this is for people that are new to IT. This is not for people that you, you already have experience, so don't, don't bother watching this video. If you're brand new, you got to just follow along with me if you're brand new. Just This, this is for new people. Um, hit next. Leave that alone. Hit next. Um, automatically, instantly, it's going to give you a bunch of error messages and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. Um, it's saying that you're missing this, you're missing that, you're, you're missing a bunch of stuff. Don't worry about that. Just hit install. Let it install, just gotta have patience with it. Yeah, just have patience with it. Obviously, if you get stuck and you're brand new to this, let me know, I'm on Discord. You can just ping me. I'm, I'm, I'm busy this month. I'm very, very busy this month because I'm doing like one-on-one -on -one training um, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one training for free, by the way. If you guys don't follow me on Discord, you should. It's free. Uh, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one training. I'm doing uh, mock interviews. Uh, I might be doing a giveaway soon um, and a few other things. So stay tuned for that. It should be interesting. And um, I have an interview with uh, I have an interview with a, with a school, actually, uh, this week coming up. So it should be interesting. Uh, very, very busy. Very busy November for me. All right, just give that a second. It's installing. Just bear with me. Don't worry about DNS. Don't worry about the ACP and all that good stuff. We'll go over that later on and throughout my other videos. I try to make it as simple as possible. So we just saw we just saw you install. We we changed the name of the computer, um, and we installed domain services. Those are the two things you care about um, because the name might be too complicated. And then when you're trying to go into the server, it's going to be too complicated. You don't want to have a complicated name. So leave it alone as it is and you'll be, you'll be, you'll be good. Okay. So just give that a second. It's almost done. It does, it does take time, by the way, if it's going slow for you, it, it's not your computer. It's just that this does take a while to create because it's creating the domain. It's creating the, the, the OUs, the subfolders, and a bunch of other stuff. You know, it's creating a bunch of different things on the server itself. So the, the advantage of this or the good thing about having a VM is that you could play around with it. And if you break it, 
don't be afraid if you break it you could always create a brand new one you know you could just delete it and make a brand new one so that's the good thing about having vms obviously you cannot do this on your desktop i wouldn't recommend doing this on your desktop I recommend doing it on VirtualBox, VMware, or VMSphere, or whatever you have. Any any virtualization you have, do it on that. Don't don't do it on your computer itself because you might end up messing up your computer. So, all right, it's almost done. Um, like I said, if you get stuck, let me know. Um, this is not complicated. I, I I sure hope not. I hope I hope I made it as easy as possible for you guys. Um, I try not to make my videos complicated. I try not to because I, I know you guys get confused with certain things. So. So now that it's done, it's going to restart on its own. You don't even got to do anything. Just leave it alone. Uh, I changed it. I remember I changed the name to server 2016. It's totally fine. Leave that alone. Let it restart. All right. This does take a while, by the way. Um, it's going to apply all the computer settings. So this does take a while. And we're going to do a lot of stuff. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. For new text, it's going to be fun. Because once I go over all this stuff that I'm going over, I think you'll be at a better place with your resume. I think you'll be in a better place with answering questions in the job interview. So this is part two of my video. I'll make part three, part four, part, a couple a couple of different videos for people that are brand new. And then, because uh, um, I have to go out, I have to go over the server stuff first. Then I'll go over um, 365 enterprise and how to use 365. I'm going to go over that too. So don't worry about that. Just bear with me. I'm going to go over it. Everyone's been asking me about 365 videos. I don't have any of those types of videos, but I am going to go over that. Just just have patience with me. I, like, I take my time with videos. It's for a reason, because if I go too fast, I don't want to skip something important for someone that's brand new. You know, I want to take my time with these videos. So, so let that do the apply computer settings. Um, like I said, if you get stuck, let me know. This shouldn't be that complicated. It, sh it should be self-explanatory. Um, obviously, everyone learns at their own pace. So if you're watching this video right now and you're like, why is Kevin going over this? We he even over this a hundred times. It's, it's not for you, man. It's for someone that's brand new. So someone that's brand new, that's not tech savvy and that's not good with technology and it's not good at learning, then, and they have to work in a slower pace. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep in mind that everyone learns differently. So you gotta have patience for everyone, so. And I spoke about this yesterday with, with somebody on Discord. Um, have patience with yourself um, and have patience with what you're doing. Have patience with what you're learning. You got to have patience with yourself. You got to have patience with what you're learning. And you got to have patience with people, just people in general, whether it's IT or not IT, or when you're helping someone, you know, because part of IT is dealing with people. You got to know how to deal with people. So I told him about that yesterday with somebody. So. Just like that load, give it a second. It does take a bit of time. Obviously, I'm not going to fast record this or anything because I want you to actually see how long it took me to set it up, you know? So that's for someone brand new to IT. So we're doing, um, we already named the server and we created Active Directory Domain Services. Just to, for today, we're doing those two things. After that, we're going to go over a bunch of other stuff. I just, I want to take my time with this, like I said, so. Give it a second. Let's take a bit of time. You got to have patience with it. Yeah, my schedule is booked for next month. It's going to be fun, man. It'll be fun. Fun for everyone, hopefully. Um, but I still have time to make videos, so you, you'll definitely see videos from me every every weekend. So, Still applying computer settings. Like I said, you got to have patience with this. So just, just bear with it. There's nothing wrong with your computer, by the way. It just does take a really long time to install. But once you install this, you'll be able to play around with a bunch of stuff, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do domain services today. Then the following week, we're gonna go over um, um, creating user accounts and um, adding a computer to a domain. And then we're gonna create a help desk account and we're gonna log in with a help desk account. 
and we're going to do our set tools. I'm going to do a bunch of crazy things in the video. You're, you're about to see like a bunch of things you've never seen before. Um, create share drives and uh, probably go over group policy as well and a bunch of other stuff for people that are brand new to IT. And then you can add that to your resume and you're, you'll be better at when your job interviews as well. You'll be like, oh, okay, I know, what, I, know, I know how to explain that. I know how to do this and how to, you know, you got to play around with it. And then um, you'll, 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 be, you'll be comfortable explaining something during a job interview. That's the point of making these labs, if that makes sense. So it also added it to your resume because then it shows that you actually know how to do something as opposed to not have anything on your resume. Hopefully that makes sense. Just let that continue to load. You just gotta, you gotta have patience with this. Um, just just wait it out. Nothing nothing wrong with the, with the server. It's just, this does take a really long time. But once it's, once it's up and running, you should be able to do a bunch of stuff with it. So just have patience with it. Bear with me. All right, finally finished. I'm like, this is taking a bit of time. Does take a bit of time. All right, so what we do is we do input. Like I get, like I said, like there's no control with delete on this, except by going into input and doing control with delete. Obviously, if you have VMware and all these other applications, it's different. But for this one, you gotta do it that way. So you log in as capital P, password one two three exclamation point. Um, before I log in. I want to show you something real interesting. So if, if someone, if, if, if you go into a technical interview, this is brand new, this is for brand new people in IT, by the way. So don't worry about it. If you're not, if you're not new, don't, don't worry about this. Um, if you're new to IT and someone asks you if this is on a domain controller or this is actually a, a joint computer, you know, this is a server, obviously, but it's a joint computer. If it says sign into KevTech, then you already know that it's part of a, some kind of domain. It has, to, it's going to say something like that. And how do you further check that is by doing this button right here, click on this button and it says type domain, domain name slash domain user and sign into the domain. Type server local user. So server 2016 is a local account, not a domain. So you, if you if you see this in a job interview, like if you see someone, someone gives you a, a computer and they, and they look, may you look at this and, you, and they have this button over here, just click on the button or, or just look at sign in too. It's gonna say the name of the computer or it's gonna say the name of the domain controller. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So it's gonna it's gonna that might be a job interview question. Just letting you know. All right. So I'm gonna log in. And with me, I, I tend to make shortcuts for everything. So what, what I do is when you log in, server manager is always gonna open up, by the way, unless you change some settings or something, but server manager is always gonna open up. So what you want to do is you wanna go into tools. You want to go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on that. Just give it a second. It's a little. It's going to be a little slow. A little slow. I'm going to close out a server manager. It's going to open up. So just close out a server manager. There you go. It opened. So then what you do is you right click on it, pin to taskbar. So then if you ever have to go back to it, you just open it from here. If that makes sense. Yep. That's it. All right. So now you have your domain controller and you have your users and computers. You have a bunch of stuff here. So that's it, man. That's pretty much it. So then what I'm going to do is um, see this one right over here. All right. I'm going to leave this alone for now. I'm, I'm going to go over more advanced stuff. You're about to see some crazy things in the next couple of videos, but not now, not today. I'm going to shut this down and I'm going to call it a day. Um, and that's it, guys. That's, that's all for today. I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Um, more videos to come. And this is for people that are brand new to IT. If you have any questions, concerns, you get stuck, definitely let me know. And uh, I'll be on this card if you need me. All right? Take care. Peace. Later. Bye.